And then I looked up John Venn. Wanna know uh, what inspired Venn diagrams? This fucking book. Ugh. It's times like this that really makes you think. Otto von Bismarck was an absolute snack of a human being. A good diplomat too. Otto! This one's for you, Queen Elizabeth. First go! This one's for you, Queen Victoria. Rule Britannia, baby. I don't know, man. Axe don't lie. Ugh. Today is another travel vlog. Yet again, uh, we're going from here out there in that general direction by boat. And then we're actually probably gonna do a little bit of math. Trying to remain consistent, do at least a couple hours a day of something. So I'll probably do that and then talk about it. Let's see, let's see, what can I hit with the ax from here? To the ocean. And in a turn of events that is surprising to absolutely no one, it's pouring rain out. Welcome to the wet coast. We are currently about to head out in, wait for it, that boat to uh, the middle of goddamn nowhere. I'm excited because I haven't made content there in about eight months. Content making chops have increased, so let's get some like 10 days of good vlogging in here, boys. And we have made it. And as per usual on the channel, it of course is getting dark. Heading up there. If you do stick around for the next several days, you'll find that the content hunting at the cabin tends to be quite exciting. I'm actually excited because the daily vlogs become very easy here because there's just a ton of very fun stuff to do. And you can kind of focus in if I'm trying to do math as well, because you know, you just have a lot of freedom. She put the new one down. So me and Tucker got and begin the one hour timer where I'm gonna read George Boole, The Laws of Thought, in front of this fireplace. But I'm not gonna film it because it's gonna be read as a PDF on this phone. So it's not gonna look very cinematic. But enjoy this completely random clip in the interim as a replacement for that time lapse. And don't go anywhere because we have several exciting things planned for the last part of this vlog. <coughs> oh, Boole, you saucy son of a bitch. And I'm gonna get this off my chest straight from the start. I'm a massive Boole fan, to be totally honest with you guys. He was self-taught, grew up in a poor family, and just risked it for the biscuit. An absolute chad. Here's the interesting thing that just happened when I was reading Boole. The whole time I'm thinking in terms of sets, because that's basically what Boole's talking about. I was visualizing Venn diagrams, and that was like the perfect representation of everything in there. And I was like, man, Boole, you're just describing Venn diagrams, buddy. And then I looked up John Venn. Wanna know uh, what inspired Venn diagrams? This fucking book. Yeah, The Laws of Thought by George Boole are what inspired John Venn in 1881 to invent Venn diagrams. The reason I'm reading this book and other books like it is I had a kind of a transcendental reevaluation of my philosophy of math and my understanding of math and what math is and what thought is in general and I realized I just did not have enough of a philosophical basis to answer these questions adequately. I was asking what is existence, what is proof, what is truth, what are we doing, how do we even communicate ideas and got a little bit hairy because I I had no answers to that question. So after just beating my head against the wall and continuing to, to read, which I suggest you do too, I discovered that most of my answers lied in a field called mathematical logic. Kind of. You see, math answers some questions, but not others. When I dove down deep into math, and I'm very much still in the thick of this right now, but I dove down deep and math is sort of built up on a lot of things we can't answer. Like, what is a set? All we can really say is how a set behaves. Like, in the same way, like, what is an atom. We have no way of describing it completely. All we can really do is say how we interact with this unknown thing. And that's a philosophical concept that I didn't really have pre-math and previous investigation, but it's something that's true always. And there's a lot of other philosophical concepts that are like that, that math is sort of built up on, that I didn't have. I know this will cause controversy, but math is built on philosophy. I'm gonna say it right now. And so suffice it to say, I'm gonna continue uh, down this road, And but just to alleviate some other person out there who's go asking the same questions as me and is watching this, as far as I've been now in diving down, what is math? What is the structure of like a mathematical theory? In math, 
you have axioms, right? You have some fundamental truths, but those axioms involve undefined objects. So you, there's an object you can't really define. You just kind of take it and you say how it behaves and other stuff about it. And then you have a language with which to make those axioms in. You have to have a language that you describe the like X is a Y. So mathematical languages are how we describe how we talk about math. And then there's logic. So there's languages, logic, axioms, and the objects that the axioms involve. And these all kind of go together. When I used to understand this, I all I had was the axioms and that was very confusing because there's more than just axioms going on. You have logical rules, you have language rules as well. Once you kind of get that out of the way, stuff starts clearing up. But that is already enough for this ramble. It's gone on long enough. Anyway, but to recap, George Boole, absolute sauce fiend. I love the guy, big fan of Boole right here. Boole is cool. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, take it easy, I love you, Godspeed, and I'll see you in the next one, which is going to be tomorrow. Cheers.